So I'm Steve Davis. I am the Espresso Evangelist from Barista Door Coffee and I'm on the road, uh, just arrived in Outer Springs with my hand presso, my new tool which I have just picked up and I've got all the necessary ingredients uh, ready for me uh, to make an espresso on the road. This is the actual espresso unit itself. I've just uh, pumped that to get the pressure up into that little green field which is around 16 bar pump pressure. Uh, that's now ready to take some hot water. We've got uh, the little pod where I'm about to put my delicious Baristador Fair Trade Espresso Blend. About to put a few spoonfuls of that and tamp it down and then on with the lid when it's together and we'll try and pour one into the cup which is currently warming with some of the water I've just boiled uh, from the hotel's kettle. Uh, when you're on the road you have to make some sacrifices. Anyway, let's put it together. Alright, so now I've got the uh, espresso coffee. I'm doing this one-handed whilst I'm also filming it, so I'm expecting coffee grounds to go everywhere. In fact this might get a little tedious so I'm just going to fill this pot up and tamp it down. Uh, a tip I got from Ian uh, at the Bar 9 Cafe in Adelaide is to use the end of the hand presso uh, as the tamp so I can actually tamp down with that. So let's do that and we'll uh, come back in two secs to see the magical pouring. So just coming down for that final tamp now. Nice and firmly packed in there. Make sure there are no grounds around the lip. And we're ready with the pod. I'll just bring it over near the light. You can see, ooh, it's bright, isn't it? Fully loaded pod ready for some espressing to take place. So, next step, we need to put some hot water into this actual unit. And this will be interesting because I need two hands for this. <laughs> we'll work something out. Alright, here we go with the hot water which I've boiled. I've actually let it also just come back down from the boil because I don't like scalding my espresso. And there are three little lips in there that you can see just jutting out into the uh, reservoir. And that's our water level for this hand presso extravaganza. Now, we take the pod of coffee, carefully place that on the top. And now, one-handed, I'm going to try and put the lid on and tighten her up. There we go. Beautiful. So, everything is locked in place. We can now see that the water reservoir is now on top. I've just turned it over. And underneath, if we can see it, I'll come around near the light. We have the bottom of the hand presso, which is where the beautiful golden liquid will be expressed through. So. Right, so here it's time for the moment of truth. I have placed the coffee into the pod, put it inside the hand presso, tightened the lid, and now we turn it over. And as you can see, the water uh, reservoir is now on top, and the uh, underbelly is ready for espressing this beautiful coffee. The pressure is still up there beautifully in the green at 16 bar pump pressure and now it's just up for me to move my thumb and hopefully release some beautiful coffee. Let's get the camera lined up there. This is the coffee on the road using the hand presso. Here we go. And there it comes. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. A golden shot 
of espresso when I think I've extracted enough and this one fits in there I push the button back the other way, release the excess pressure and we now have an espresso poured on the road using the hand presso now it's up to the taste test so we've espressed the coffee now here comes the moment of truth, the actual tasting I must say this is quite a nice drop uh, there are some differences of course uh, due to the sacrifice of using the hand presso compared to a full espresso machine um, we lose some of the body that you get with that beautiful high pressure uh, expression we also lack some of the creamer however the, the uh, integrity of the flavor is still there and the aftertaste is there this is I mean it helps that we started with barista door coffee of course uh, but the hand presso has done the job when you're away from cafes on the road this is going to be an absolute savior so enjoy of course always take it with some barista door coffee but the hand presso is passed in, in my opinion beautiful yours in the spirit of espresso